go through the Orange presentation as quick as that. If you want to know more, you can go to the website and uh, <laughs> so the presentation comes here. <laughs> Um, so, I will speak about CAST. So, CAST basically is uh, sending what you see in your palm and having the experience on the big screen. And uh, we, well, I, I can speak from my own experience. We coming from the Orange Group mobile device team and going in the set-top box area, we see that uh, Every operator claims to be very convergent, but it's not, and uh, we've try, we are trying to, well, make a little uh, step over convergency. Why? Because 80% of our subscribers own the smartphone, and around them, 70% have multi-screen experience. When they watch TV, they have their smartphone in their hand. So we know that all the purchases of uh, VOD, all the well, navigation with added value experience are using that smartphone to inform to, well, and they bring more interactivity. So, and you know, smartphone, if you are, can use the application as a remote control, Smartphone has uh, more button than every, any Japanese remote control. So, <laughs> so I will uh, just uh, go through the um, uh, num numerous uh, CAS technology to explain that uh, the solution are very numerous and it's a mess for operator. So uh, I will speak about that, so you can read the list. I will go through fast because uh, I expect some questions at the end. Uh, so Miracast, interesting thing. You know Miracast is uh, based on Wi-Fi and H.264, encoding and decoding. Basically that. that. And uh, the major problem, and that's why no operator have launched Miracast servi uh, service over Miracast, is because you cannot guarantee QoS. If you have good quality over Miracast and then somebody is uh, connecting to your gateway, the quality can go down and you don't, just don't know why. So it arrived, uh, it was deployed on Android on uh, Ice Cream Sandwich and uh, removed, uh, you can see at the end, on uh, Marshmallow, so Android 6. In between, no big business was allowed, but uh, in fact, uh, it was uh, disturbing everybody, including all the research projects. Why? Because you have already somebody in a team uh, demonstrating that it's so simple, you can just use Miracast, you mirror your exp experience on the big screen and it's done. And uh, in fact, what, how we understand, and I hope uh, there are Google uh, uh, participants here, uh, we see that it's like uh, they don't know how to cut our grass in our garden, so they stro throw big stones like that. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm not talking about uh, man digital right uh, management issue. For example, as uh, far I know, only Intel and Samsung are respecting the fact that you control uh, DRM check over Miracast. Other, and including all the uh, Chinese boxes, don't care about Miracast. You can mirror anything. And so current, uh, we asked to Google to share Google Cast to put this on our box. And Curiously, there was one condition, just to move our box to Android TV. <laughs> so, and uh, Miracast is also supported on uh, Windows, but you know, uh, now it's uh, by default like DNA on Edge on Windows 10. Uh, there is an explanation, is because uh, Windows stopped to push uh, 
media room and uh, Microsoft TV boxes, so they don't care about that. So every operator has, uh, since a uh, long time, uh, cast solution using DLNA with a control po point and all the architecture. So this is uh, current and I show we have it, uh, the support on our gateways and set-top boxes. And, uh, but we don't offer any uh, specific uh, software except in our service application software. We can use Miracast to cast something except Orange TV player on mobile. You know AirPlay? Uh, I don't think I, I have to explain you. I just have to just uh, notice that uh, Bonjour protocol, which is the DNA discovery content, uh, uh, it's a really good protocol. Uh, discovery based on MDNS, opposite uh, as uh, uh, D, uh, DLNA, which is based on SSDP. This is uh, working very well, and it's uh, open source by... Oh. Sorry. <laughs> I had to put the, uh, the chronometer. Um, so, uh, Bonjour protocol for the discovery of the content is open source, but AirPlay is not licensed. So, uh, we, you can uh, cast music, but even uh, mo personal mobile video, you cannot cast if you don't have any uh, Apple TV. And by the way, Apple never made advertisement on Apple TV except with this icon on your phones. So it's a big advertisement, but uh, they just sell their phone and all the ecosystem comes back uh, with that. We use, uh, uh, well, uh, Dial. Dial was an open source protocol de, uh, uh, defined by Netflix and YouTube, and it's uh, like uh, it's used internally by Netflix with their, um, between their mobile application and all the implementation, and it's used by YouTube on any connected TV. So, uh, then, well, Google Cast, I already talked about that. The clone by Amazon, it's called Fling. And the clone by Google Orange is called OrangeCast. Basically, the same architecture everywhere. We have a, a library to embed in the mobile applications, which is talking to a web page launched by the box. And this web page uh, makes the link with the low-level APIs with a receiver, so it's a JavaScript receiver. And so it's helped to service application developer to just uh, develop their application without taking care about low-level APIs. That is completely a disruptive model uh, in opposition of developing the middleware, in fact. And so there is another cast uh, thing with uh, HBB TV, and I will talk about that because the question there when you make the choice is ecosystem. So uh, I will speak about the ecosystem right after this. Everything on these uh, protocols are using uh, HTML5 browser as a receiver because it gives you all the new extensions and uh, well, supports of uh, web sockets, supports of MSE, EME extensions, even WebRTC, which is may, maybe the biggest disruption uh, coming after internet on our business of uh, operators. Um, the ecosystem, well, you have the choice. Either Google is handling the lookup table, so matching the mobile application and the receiver. Either there isn't, or you can do it by yourself, and uh, that's what we offer with OrangeCast. Because OrangeCast is uh, letting you handle the lookup table. So I draw Orange, but it's, Orange won't um, uh, use the lookup table for you if you take OrangeCast. Why I'm uh, 
So you can look at that, it's just a summary about a between closed ecosystem that we are not the, the GAFAs that claim to be open, but it, you see that it's so difficult. And we are just aggregator. So pure software is uh, Microsoft and operator are, have to implement everything because we are stuck in a problem. 80% of Android, 20% of iPhone, we want to cast and we cannot force one of these uh, community to choose. We cannot say goodbye to the other community, community. So we have to be compatible with both. And so we made a move and uh, OrangeCast will disappear and will become OpenCast and we will put everything open source. And this is a call if you want to join us, any opera box manufacturers, you are welcome. We, we know that we are not so fast in software development, so you are welcome to join us and bring your brilliant ideas. So, thank you. <laughs> Okay, we are pushed for time, but I just want to take one question if we have one. So, uh, okay, man here. How many members do you have? Oh, yeah. How many members do you have so far? Is <laughs> Third time, lucky. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any members now already uh, joined the, for the OCAST? Do you have any members. other members? Do you have any other well, uh, contributors? Well, some box manufacturer even here are joining and. Uh, uh, well, I cannot speak uh, officially for them, but uh, a big uh, German operator will join. That we have a joint venture with them already. So, but uh, you can join. Them. <laughs>